All right, Lamar Aismo video. Here we go. And uh, this is um, the 1st of August, 2019. The reason I'm doing this video is it's late here on the East Coast of um, the United States of Slavelandia, one of the many multinational plantations uh, run by uh, Rothschild and the other seven families. Uh, the Kuhn Lows and the Warburgs and the Lazards, etc. But um, I just saw something on the Israel. I was, as I stated in the past, I like to uh, consult multiple sources for my information and um, compare all of them, see what I can get from you know day to day people, what they're talking about, and um, then I when I make my assessment. Um, as far as what, what I'm going to believe about the reality that we live in. I don't just get it from Fox News or uh, MSNBC, CNN, France 24. Oh, also study and do background research on different regions around the world and different groups of people. That's also helpful. So then you'll know in, in these uh, disputes between ethnicities and, and conflict within regions, so, you know, which side started it and so uh, who you know, so you, so you know which side to take. Uh, which which if that's if you're a um, just person and you don't believe in any uh, racist deities. Which brings me to uh, what I was watching. I was watching the Israeli news. Uh, <laughs> one of their um, I think is it, is it um, damn, what's the name of that station? Is it ITV? One one of those. Apparently. One of their politicians says he expects the United States to stay out of their election. I mean, the audacity. I mean, one thing you got to say about the Israelis and their um, co-religionist um, helpers throughout the world is that they, they, they don't lack courage or audacity. I mean, they have their own word for that, but I don't, I don't like to, to use their words uh, that... I find um, a lot of stuff within their um, culture repugnant. Uh, there are a few good things, but for the most part, uh, <laughs> like, like I said about their God, you know, it, it leaves a lot to be desired in, in terms of uh, the deity. You have the uh, racist uh, maniac uh, Lord Yahweh, the, the chief demon of... Um, uh, Jerusalem and the, their um, ritual murder and animal torturing temple, but um, I digress. Now, but, but besides that, I mean, it, it's it just goes to show you, you know, the, the nerve. And, and and as I stated before, also, and and we've um, and by we I mean the United States um, military seems to have taken up the same position when it comes to. Um, a similar position that Israel has is that um, countries that aren't under their um, control do not have the right to defend themselves. They have the right to defend themselves, but you better not defend yourself. You better not have any arms to defend yourself. I mean, it's just total unrealistic expectations. But, I mean, when, when you have um, a group of people who think that they're superior to everyone else and... The rules apply to others and not themselves. And this just doesn't happen with religious groups. It happens with uh, politicians as well. Whether you're in a, um oligarchy like we are now. But even when this was a republic, there, there was all, that was always the case. Uh, the, the founding fathers, who a lot of people like to tout, uh, I mean, no matter where they're from, it's like uh, the, the founders of this country... They had some of the best uh, press, like the best PR possible, because when you look at the some of the things that they said about others who weren't a part of their um, ethno-linguistic group or their, their quote-unquote race, you know, again, it's it, it, you'll see a lot of similarities between the, the things that they say about their opposition and how, you know, the things that Israel says about its opposition. Just total disregard for humanity and the whole no the the exact opposite of the golden rule, which is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Uh they totally 
they totally do not believe in that. And, and, and in addition to that, like I said also earlier, uh, they do things to others that if, if one, one, one thousandth or even one, one millionth of the harm that they inflict on others was inflicted on them, they, I mean, we, we've seen it, and I, and I stated in the past, all this, um, anytime something does happen, uh, I mean, not just uh, the USA, Israel, but any countries, Western Europe, it's, I mean, it's always, um, you know, this happened out of nowhere, we're just uh, the greatest people ever, we never did anything wrong to anyone, we have no... Uh, <laughs> They, they want to live in a universe where there's no um, consequences for their actions. But, I mean, it's, it's, it looks like it may be heading that way, though. Um, especially if one of the last major dominoes were to fall. Um, and, and, you know, God willing, this won't happen. But if something were to happen to Iran and it ended up like Jordan or any of those other uh, bootlicking countries in the region, Jordan, Saudi Arabia... We'll be one step closer to having total one world dominance. And that's that's not a good thing. Uh, you know, it's um the whole out the globalist folks is um everyone's favorite uh, male vitality and bone broth salesman likes to talk about these globalists. And as I've stated, this this country, the the US of A, when you talk about globalization, one world government. We are at the helm. We're pioneering that. We're Rothschild's hammer. Uh, <laughs> countries that, again, countries that do try to try to independent course, even if they're not hostile or hostile. I mean, hostile could be like I guess a sending them for a hotel. But um, Libya is a good example of that. I did business with um, this this global cabal basically and look, look what happened to Gaddafi as a result he tried to play nice you know mutual economic benefit that didn't save him so uh, we're in for it because for those of you who are new to my channel I've uh, one of the things that I said that it lost I lost a lot of traction when I first started this channel and I used to get a lot of pushback which I don't mind is that uh, Russia is also in on this. Um, they're in with the globalist folks. I mean, um, just to reiterate why I feel that way is, is the fact that Russia could have had Israel totally hands off of Syria. If Syria is supposed to be your ally, um, and that base is your only warm water port in the Mediterranean, um, other than that, you'll be bottled up in the Black Sea. What you would do is do everything within your power to ensure the Syrian government gains all that territory back before what could happen, what did happen, happened. The, the, the Russians, the Syrians, and, and their allies, the, the major weightlifters in that conflict has been Syria, Iranian-backed forces, and Hezbollah. They've done the, you know, the heavy lifting in Russia, uh, did a lot in terms of um, logistics and air power. Would it, make no mistake about it. Without Russia, Syria wouldn't have made the gains that it that it did. But what Russia did was just like some of these YouTubers and the alternative media. Russia pulled its punch because when they initially took Palmyra the first time, they could have taken that all the way into Al Tamf if enough force was delivered. Initially, that would have kept their adversaries off balance now. And with this last deal that Russia allowed Turkey to fool them into do, I don't know whether it's just straight up collusion or whether the Russians were duped, but Turkey is an unreliable partner. Turkey has allowed the terrorists in the Idlib province to fortify. They've strengthened their position. They've dug tunnels. They have medical facilities underground for the terrorists. I'm pretty sure they have their Salafi slash Wahhabi whores, uh, their brothels underground. Now, I mean, everything they need to continue this um, slow bleeding of, of manpower and resources of Syria is underground now in Idlib. They can cause trouble probably for decades. 
they could essentially do what the Taliban does to the the government in Afghanistan, the government that's trying not to be Salafi, um, crazy hardliners that blow up rural heritage sites. Uh, it's, it's, it's bad. The Russians could have prevented that. Just like, um, I mean, everything could have been done much better had Syria, because Syria always wanted to, to press on and gain its territory back. And had the Russians not stopped to negotiate, not stopped for nonsensical humanitarian reasons and all the other lies that, that came about, had, had they not stopped for those issues that weren't really issues, but they were just um, a ploy to divide and conquer Syria, Syria would have had almost all of the territory, apparently like 90% of the territory back. But they were, at, every time the, the SAA, the Tiger Forces, and the Iranian back forces had the advantage, and they could have taken more territory and met up with the Iraqi popular mobilization units, you know, there would be some nonsense. Let's negotiate. You know, everyone should take an example. If there, if there is a legitimate um, um, multi-power struggle coming along in geopolitics, everyone needs to learn from the tribe, from the Israelis. You don't negotiate. Um, I mean, if, even if your advantage is, is slight, you just don't negotiate. Israel um, could have negotiated decades ago and had a, um, a, a decent settlement. Uh, with the Palestinians, but they know they had the advantage, and their their agenda from from the onset was to take the entire territory, and uh, perhaps more. But um, another thing I wanted to address is, as I've stated in the past too, I don't like supremacy when it when it comes from anyone, no matter what their race is, quote unquote race, whatever their ethno linguistic group is, whatever their religion. You don't have the right to harm other people because or undermine their livelihood because you think you're from a superior race. Um, a real superior race would um, probably end up being self-sufficient, not needing to deal with others at all. But um, so that's that's a, that's a part of that. But then um, quickly, the Confederate States of America, because I've seen a lot of um YouTubers from Ryan Dawson to others say that the Confederate States, um, that guy from Australia said the same thing. Confederate States, it wasn't about slavery, this, that, and the third, uh, blah, blah. You get these arguments. The main point, the main reason the South, especially South Carolina, left the Union, which was what started the war because, again, uh, Lincoln wasn't a... Um, on the the, out, the outset of the war, he wasn't fighting it to end slavery. He was fighting it to keep the southern states in the Union. It became about slavery when he needed black volunteers to help the Union win the war. Um, and then it became a war for, for real freedom and liberation. The, the stuff that this country brags about, it, 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 you know, the Civil War was the, the, the only war of liberation this country ever fought. Uh, but, um, so yeah, read each Confederate state's constitution. All of them wanted to uphold white supremacy and continue slavery. That was the main point. Read each one. I'm from Florida. Read Florida's constitution. Go down the list. Mississippi, Alabama, the Carolinas, Virginia. Read, read their constitutions and then, and then tell me what they were fighting for because I don't care what the North was, uh, these a-holes who, um, and it's sim similar to other people who thought they were superior and they had the right to trample over others as a result, read, read, read what they said they were fighting for. Uh, read um, Stephen Davis, I believe, was uh, Jeff Davis, it's the president of the Confederacy. Read some quotes from his brother. They were fighting to keep people in chains working for free indefinitely. So they could blame all the country. When the country does have a problem, you still blame the people with no money and power who carved out the country and helped build the infrastructure but reap none of the benefits. You blame those type of people, the powerless uh, and the oppressed. Our media still does that today. Just look at um, any, any conflict around the world. But I passed my time limit. That's it for now. God willing, see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.